ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. We're doing some videos on uh, cars and everything. And uh, what, are you, what are you zooming in for? Why are you doing that? He's such an idiot. My son is such an idiot. Anyways, this car is 99005 Ford Capri um, RS Turbo. This is kind of a neat car. I've been buying a lot of these. Um, so it's a beautiful looking car. Well, you can get a little closer if you want. Let me get it out of the case first. And this is a front mounted motor also like the last car we did. Okay. All right. Now see how flat these brushes are when they come right from the uh, factory? Man. All right. So let's see if this is going to run right off the bat. Man, another fast piece. Let's get it warmed up a little bit. Get that motor warmed up. I got to clean that track, too. Let me clean the track right here a little bit here. I always want to do that. You can use Goo Gone, too. I use Goo Gone, too. You don't have to use Inox or even WD-40. You just want to clean that track because sometimes it gets a little gunk on it. That won't even run. <laughs> uh, let's take the thing apart first before I start tinkering with my track but you do want to keep your track clean that's for sure and this guy's got four screws on it there's a lot of parts on this chassis all right so you guys can see what you get in it oh that's not ooh, look at all the circuitry in here you got your rear lights you got your front lights oh wow this got lights on it that's sweet again your motor to your uh, front motor, to your axle, Mushi motor. Let's get this. Let's see if we can get this going here. Hmm. There we go. See the light? These cars have been sitting in a warehouse for about 10 years. There you go. Takes a little time. fast motor sometimes it's just the brushes you know it's, it's all into the brushes and we're doing i mean i could pre-do these cars to test them and all that you know why aren't you pre-testing these cars for you to you know that's part of the fun i guess trying to figure out why it's not working or why it's not running real fast and sometimes it can be the track make sure you get this track cleaned out that's important See, it's almost like it's not really getting. Man, it's fast. There's a lot of force on the, when the car is, there's a lot of force being pulled up this way because the remotor, it's real he heavy here. It's almost like you want to get those brushes almost. I hate put them that far down. There we go. Yeah, sometimes, it, you know, it all depends on the car. You want those brush, But then if you get them too high, then they're popping the guide blade out of the, out of the pan. Let's put the chassis back on, or the body. And put the figures 
so anyway, um, this is 132nd scale. This is a, um, and of course they're magnetized and they just don't want to go in there, right? Well, my son wanted me to do a 20 minute video. So I guess this could be the 20 minute video. Um, um, we're going to be doing a video on a couple other sets here in a couple of days. Now, why is that not working? You know, that's bothering me now. Because it, it's getting power. Let's try the other lane. Frustrating. Very frustrating. Now the tire is jammed. I don't know what I did. What the heck? That was fine. Something wasn't. I've sold a lot of these cars. These are pretty cool cars. He's probably going to cut this up into a smaller video. He actually, I think, likes this video. And I frankly don't. Why is this not? Now, see, now why is that jammed again? Tires are jammed in the chassis. What is not going on here? It's, ch it's rubbing the rims here. Why? in the rim here. All right. Now we have to go do some other things. What, what are you following me for? People aren't going to want to watch this. This is a problem. I hate problems. See, now that one's fine. Now why is that? And that came off of there. And it's rummied into the chassis. It's a very tight tolerance. Like right here, it's almost like touching me. Here, I mean, it's almost like. Unless all the screws have to be put in. Yeah. 
plus I'm going blind and I need my bifocals so I can see close up. See, that is just not... <sighs> you like this, don't you? Unbelievable. My son likes this video. What a nutcase. This is really what people want to watch on this right here. Me getting frustrated with a car. But you know what's going to happen sooner or later, right? My temper is going to overtake me here. Okay, so. That is the car. The headlights. And that should go right back on there. And that should screw in here. Screws in. Just. A lot of people, though, you know what they do with these cars is they buy them and they strip all the stuff out of all the guys out of them and, and they modify them themselves. They just turn it into their own car especially if you're driving it just for fun. They don't want the all the interiors to it. They might put a different motor, maybe a bigger motor in it or or other um, other components inside. See, now that one's running fine. Now, why does this not run? Maybe it's the... Putting these screws in is really not the funnest thing. Okay, we can't spend this amount of time on every single car. Anyway, just showing you, this is just showing you the tinkering of a car. Tinkering of a t car. See, there's no place... Other than there, maybe that's the. I don't know what, what happens if they get a car like this. See that steps there. I don't know if it's the hand throttle. It's just not, sometimes it's not getting, see there it's got power. And this has got nothing. 
All right, you ready? Oh my gosh, what's the head? Okay, so it's... Okay, uh, that was not a very good head. All right, so this whole video was, was demoing this car. And unfortunately, nothing was running because the track wasn't running because I had a bad transformer. That's what was the problem. The transformer I was using, um, I had to replace the transformer for now. Now we've got great, uh, it's amazing. And yes, it was a very frustrating video, I will admit. But you know what? That's what a lot of people don't do when they buy something. They don't want to take the time to find out really what's wrong with it. They'll just say, I want to return it. Can I return this, please? Because it doesn't work. Because I don't want to work on it. Well, you know what? <laughs> oh, God. Don't buy this if you don't want to tinker with things, okay? And it's been, what, we, what was that about? It had to be about a 10-minute video of me just tinkering and finally figuring out it was a transformer. I should have known it from the beginning, but it was, that's a brand new transformer. But some of the transformers, you know, their windings are just off. And once in a while, you get a bad transformer. But everything runs now five. So this is the... Um, um, Ford Capri 1970 Ford Capri oh, 1980 Ford Capri hold on let me get it let me get it over here so you can see it it's a 1980 Ford Capri really nice car headlights taillights everything really nice alright so um, hope he's going to splice this right because um, this was pretty uh, pretty pathetic video <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the like button because they're de devaluating me. Or uh, I don't know why. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just like me, okay? And then pass this on to somebody else that likes slot cars.